Hey everyone, Kane here, and there is a new patch for DBD today. It is on the public test build, and with that comes a new killer. Now, this is gonna be my first time ever seeing anything about this killer. This is a this is a pretty much a live recorded reaction to what this killer is. I don't know anything. I don't know what their name. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. I have no idea. But we're gonna take a quick look at the new killer right now. Take a look at it, their abilities, and then tonight. We're going to be streaming, playing matches with the new killer. So make sure you follow on Twitch. The link is in the description below because we're going to be live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, as usual, playing with the killer, probably doing some kill your friends. So we're going to take a live look right now. Again, I have no idea what this killer is, who they are, but let's take a quick look right now. All right, let's do it. Play as killer. Let's see who the new killer is. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button again. I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. Okay, where is it? <gasps> Whoa! The spirit! A phase walking killer able to catch survivors off guard with her traversal power. Um, something hunting. Yomaka's home hunting. Her power allows her to teleport from one place to another without being seen. Her personal perk, Spirit Fury, hex hunted ground and, and rancor, give her tools to observe and bait survivors and deal with obstacles directly in her path let's take a look at her then oh whoa so it is a woman so what was this um what was the freaking trailer about was that her being killed in the trailer or what was going on there well whoa she looks oh my goodness she looks freaking amazing guys i'm real <laughs> Wow, I'm really excited about this. She has a freaking sword that she just spawns. Look at those animations. Wow, that's really cool. Does she have any outfits or anything? Let's take a look. Okay, no outfits yet, of course. But man, she's freaking cool. All right, let's check out her loadout. So these are her perks, the perks that she start off with, um, starts off with. Let's take a look at where they are. So each pallet you break magnifies the, the wrath of the entity. Um, after breaking four pallets, the next time you are stunned by a pallet, the entity will instantly break the pallet. You will still suffer from the stun effect penalty. So that would be really awesome with enduring. So if you mix that up with enduring and the pallet is instantly broken, oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, haunted ground, two trap hex totems will spawn in the trial. When one of the two trap uh, hex totems are cleansed by a survivor, all survivors suffer from the exposed status effect for 40 seconds. Um, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Exposed means that they can be down, right, instantly? I believe that's what that means. So that's actually really good. That's actually really good. You can combine that with some other hexes to kind of throw them off as well. Um, and ranker. So each time, each time, uh, sorry. You become obsessed with one survivor. Each time a generator is completed, the obsession sees your aura for five seconds. Each time a generator is completed, all survivors' locations are revealed to you for three seconds. All, once all the generators are completed, the obsession has the exposed test effect and the killer can kill the obsession. Okay, okay. So I'm curious to see how that levels up to, uh, to tier three there, level three. Um, but that is pretty cool. So these are some pretty decent perks here. Let's take a look at her power again. So here's her power. Tap and hold the power button to charge. The spirit will depart her physical body, leaving behind a stationary husk. The spirit may traverse freely to a new location, moving at a faster rate for a short duration. She is still confined to movement within the physical environments and in surroundings. The spirit leaves the physical plane, losing sight of all survivors. She can, however, still sense the scratch marks they leave in the environment. The spirit will produce an audible cue at her current location. Once the power has ended, the spirit retains her speed boost for a brief period and her husk fades away. Okay. Oh, she has a power bar as well. So using the hunting to please the power bar. The power bar will automatically replenish over time. The power bar must be fully replenished before it can trigger again. That is really interesting. That is really interesting. Well, guys, she is pretty cool looking so far we're gonna go into her add-ons and play around with her perks but again tonight we're gonna be streaming take a look in the description to find our link it's kane gaming on twitch that is where we're gonna be i'm really excited to play as this new killer and uh yeah 
we're gonna be having some fun with her tonight. Probably kill your friends. I'm really glad. I'm really excited. I can't even talk. I'm really excited to play this new killer. But anyway, guys, so that completes the video. Make sure you follow on Twitch. You can also follow on Twitter, join our Discord. I'm gonna have all those links down there in the bottom. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you tonight live. Take care, guys. Peace out.